Hey guys, I know I haven't uploaded a video in a while, um, but I do want to start uploading a, a few videos. Um, I know with the situation, everybody's at home, but I am going to start uploading a few videos. I'm going to be doing some hair product reviews Head and subscribe guys. So um, let's get started. So I went ahead and ordered the Dyson Corral. I think uh, Dyson came out with it about a month ago. So when I heard about it, I was pretty excited. I was like, you know, um, uh, maybe I'll go ahead and buy it but then I saw the price tag and I was like oh, $500 I don't know if I want to do that so I went ahead and um, you know watched videos and uh, watch reviews and I watched uh, you know I did some research on all the technology in it was it worth it was it not worth it um, and I have been using the Dyson supersonic so I have been using this one uh, for about a year and a half and I really love it and in that year and a half that I've been using it I have noticed that my hair got a lot longer and um, I think it was because there is less breakage of my hair and I've had it bleached before so um, and then I re-dyed it so it's all one solid color but um, I have noticed a, a big difference in my hair it just feels healthier looks healthier um, so I do believe in the Dyson products um, so again after doing some research I decided to purchase it so I want to do a review today for you guys who are kind of on the fence or don't know if you want to purchase it so I'm gonna be comparing um, the Dyson Corral which is this one right here so here's so there's the Dyson all right here she is okay so i'm gonna be comparing it to the croc i have had this croc for about three years and i do like it so um the technology on this croc it it was pretty new when it came out so i know that everybody loved it so i'm gonna be doing a comparison between the two to see if this one's worth it again ever since i bought it i haven't tried it so this is gonna be the first time that i try it so let me walk you guys through what i got in the box this is the box that it comes in so then you go ahead and open it like this so here you see i guess all the technology that's inside the hair strainer it kind of just shows you uh like a map of it and everything that is in there and then it comes you know wrapped up it does come with this very nice um pouch for you to travel and then it does come with this little extension so this is for uh, airplane mode so if you're going to travel you can take it on your carry-on because you are able to disconnect the battery so <clears throat> the biggest feature with this hair strainer and the biggest difference between these two hair strainers is this one has a cord and this one is cordless I did see a lot of reviews of people saying yes it's cordless but it doesn't last a long time uh, it doesn't um, you know if you have very long hair it you're gonna it's gonna take too long I want to go ahead and try that out see if it's um, you know if it does last or if it doesn't so again going back to the box um, you kind of get your little uh, instructions warranties so in here so in this box you're going to get this charger so the audio on this video um it was it wasn't working so um i had to cut in right here so what i was uh, i'm just refilming this so uh this is after i have already done the hair so what i was showing you all right now was the charging um station so it, it comes with like a little charging station like this um and what you will do is you will place the hair straightener on there uh and it will be charging it so and then you plug it in right here so the cord that it comes with it is attachable either to the hair strainer so you are able to put it on the hair strainer or you can also attach it to the uh, dock or the charging port and then you just connect it like that and then it will indicate so um let me kind of go over some cool features on on this uh 
hair straightener so I the most important feature on it is the fact that it holds your hair together so your hair will be able to stay in the place so when you're straining your hair with a conventional straightener so uh, so you guys can see uh, you're kind of going through it and then the hair is kind of or, or falling out as you all see right there okay so um, let me go ahead and take the same section so what the Dyson is supposed to do it's supposed to while you're straining your hair it's supposed to keep the hair in place between the plates of course if, if uh, while you're straining it so you're able to take like bigger sections and um the heat is dispersed evenly i believe that the hair strainer has technology in it which is regulating the heat a hundred times per second i don't know how it can do that because the second is pretty quick so um that th that's uh, another one of the features um it does it it, it's a, it gives you about 30 minutes um, to straighten it, but um, I know that if you're straining your hair and then placing it back on the dock, um, you're going to get more more uh, straightening time. So uh, that's a time. So uh, that's a plus. All right, guys, so here I have started um, straining my hair. So again, the audio wasn't working. So if you guys see closely, um, the hair does stay together. And at first I started at 330 degrees, but um, I, as you see there, I still see kind of like some, some uh, wave to the hair. So I went ahead and did the second pass on it and um, again I, that's when i i got it pretty straight um so then i um i guess i'm explaining but yes um it it does get pretty straight but again it was at 330 so i guess the point of the straightener is to just go over it once so i believe after that i did bump it up to 365 so um now that i'm doing the croc side i did leave it at 330 the first time uh, but i also bumped it up to 370 after um, so here you guys are going to see the difference between the two straighteners so here I um, I start straining my hair and I tried taking a, the same amount of hair on both sides but as you can see um, it the croc doesn't get the hair as straight uh, again this is in the lowest heat setting I usually don't use the lowest heat setting I use um, 370 on the croc so it's like the medium which I will be using on the Dyson in just a bit so this is a second pass um, and by the second pass I do get it um, a lot more straight but um, as you guys, I, I don't think you guys can see it on the camera. Um, the Dyson side just feels so much softer. And then the Croc side just feels um, uh, so much more rough. Uh, my hair just doesn't feel as soft or as healthy. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can see it on the camera. Uh, but that's kind of just the results I saw after doing uh, one pass so now I'm just gonna go ahead and um, fast forward this section so and then give you guys my final thoughts um, after I have straightened the, all my hair
on the hair um so again this is the croc side and this is the dyson side so as you guys can see this one does look like a little bit more choppy so essentially what you're paying for uh with the dyson is you're paying for the technology in the long run the croc will burn your hair a lot more why because it uses more heat the dyson use doesn't use as much heat as uh the croc while i was straining my hair I, I was able to touch my hair on the dyson side and it wouldn't burn while i was straining my hair with the croc i would touch it and it would burn my hair like i would have to let it go while i was straining my bangs i noticed the same thing uh that while i was trying to kind of like touch my hair while i was straightening it it was really really hot with the dyson side i didn't notice that i was able to kind of go over my hair and um i could touch it and it wasn't very hot so um at the end of the day are you willing to pay for um for the dyson I'm not sure that's a decision that you have to make is it worth it I think there's some pros but there is some cons as well um, the battery life on it isn't very long but again if you're kind of placing it back and forth as you're kind of straining your hair and then placing it back in between sectioning the hair um, then you will have enough battery again for certain hairs but if you take about an hour and a half two hours it might be very very different um, the biggest feature on the corral is that it keeps the hair together within the plates and so you only kind of have to go once maybe twice while I was straining my hair I did have to bump it up to 365 because the 330 was just too low my hair is not too thick uh, or not too thin it's kind of just in the middle so I went ahead and did the 370 on the crock so uh, am I happy with my purchase? I am because I I do I did want to strain my hair every time that I blow dried it just to kind of get rid of, of you know the frizz and stuff but I wouldn't do it because I felt like I was going to keep burning my hair with the croc and like I don't know if you guys can see it through the camera but my hair does feel and I feel like it looks more shiny on the Dyson side so uh, again it's up to you if you want to do it. Another thing is that you keep an eye out Ulta sometimes has 20% uh, off depending on you know what kind of your platinum I know that you guys can wait through to Black Friday that sort of thing um, again I've had the the supersonic for a long time I've never had any issues with it um, so I do feel like it's an investment for the your hair care in the long run I know 10 years ago I just wanted a straightener that was hot and that would get my hair pin straight like that's all I cared about I didn't care that it was burning my hair I didn't really care about anything else now I really do want to take more care of my hair so I'm I'm kind of going more towards uh, products or things or tools that are not going to cause as much damage I just don't want my hair to be so damaged uh, because again it's better to prevent the damage than to have to repair it because there's really no way to repair it once it has been damaged um, so the, those are kind of my final thought you know have any questions about the Dyson or you all want to know more or have you know something that I might have not not um, answered and you guys want to know more about it just let me know and I'll try to um, you know help everybody out whatever questions you have in the comments just let me know or send me a message or anything and I will try my best to get back to you